There are four technological development strategies to remember to optimize operations. And the possible questions could be, describe, explain, or outline a technological development strategy to optimize the operations, or maybe the same question, but it adds in to improve the efficiency and or effectiveness of the operation system. And maybe we need to discuss, evaluate, or analyze um, how they optimize and or improve the efficiency or effectiveness, basically the same question. So let's go through them. So what we're talking about is we've got an operation system. We've got to make it more efficient and effective there's a bunch of strategies in our course and in this group we're looking at technological developments we've got automated production lines computer aided design computer aided manufacturing and website development so the first that we need to know is what each one is so automated production lines the operation system replaces human activity with machinery technology robotics and computers it does say production line so when you see that you think of a factory but it doesn't actually necessarily mean that because you could say say Woolworths and Coles they have automated the cash registers because customers do them themselves that's replaced human activity but predominantly this is in factories like we looked at Tesla for example or General Motors computer aided design we're going to use a computer program to design the product so you use 3d models and that way we can easily change it and get really precise measurements and then we kind of feed the instructions like in computer instructions and code into computer aided manufacturing. And it sounds like it's automation. It's a little bit different. We're just saying the products are assembled through program instructions from a computer, which controls the machinery tools, robots and equipment, but there is a person controlling that. So that's a really skilled job. Whereas up here, we're just replacing jobs. And lastly, we've got website development, which is the use of the internet to facilitate contact between the business and its customers. So we can promote, market and sell it, communicate with customers and deliver customer service and also collect customer data so we can serve customers better and give them what they want. And for each of these, we need to know how will it improve efficiency or productivity, effectiveness and quality, and more so some disadvantages. So now we can discuss it. So let's look at automation. It increases how the speed that you can work at, but also how long you can work. You don't need to just be there from nine to five with uh, automation. You can work 24 seven. Therefore, you got lower labor costs. So that's all going to improve efficiency. In terms of effectiveness, we're going to make more accurate and consistent products with fewer defects and waste, and that's going to lead to fewer customer complaints. However, there's some bad things. There's high costs to install it. Also, some CSR issues might result in redundancies and also limited flexibility. Machines can't really adjust um, to unexpected events as well as people can. So when that happens, that's kind of a disadvantage. What about computer aided design and computer aided manufacturing? We'll group them together because they go together. Well, you can design products faster. You can change them easier. That's going to reduce waste because you make exact precise measurements. There's no guessing. And just like with automation, you can run production faster and for longer. And you'll need not no labor, but you'll need less labor. So they're all improvements to efficiency. In terms of effectiveness, we're going to have a more accurate design of the product. And that's going to better meet customer needs. We can get customers to feed their specific needs into the computer and we're going to design the product they want. Then when we make it, it's going to be more accurate and consistent production and therefore fewer wastes and defects in production. So that's going to improve our effectiveness. Disadvantages. Yeah, got to install at high time and cost. And these are not dummy jobs. These are jobs where you need highly skilled people to use these programs. And again, we might result in redundancies. Website development. We can communicate with customers faster and we can sell faster because customers can click two clicks and buying on a lot of websites also more efficient marketing we know where to market and how to market to people so we spend less money and we have lower costs we also in terms of effectiveness increase effectiveness of communication we can make things that will actually you know be better quality communications and things that customers actually want to see in terms of marketing and also we can use their data to find out what they want and make a better product the disadvantage is, again, you've got the initial costs, time consuming, you've got to retrain employees, but also these ones, are, you know, customer privacy becomes an issue as soon as you do something online, and also breakdowns. We see in the news all the time, a business, so particularly banks, where they use a lot of banking apps now instead of um, branches, and the app goes down, and people literally can't spend money. So that's a really big disadvantage of using website and website development and technology.